with Uncle Destiny back with you. It's that time of the year again where we get to say goodbye to this calendar year and hello to the new one of 2015. So it's time for the reading to see what this next year holds for everyone. Now again, this is a broad spectral reading, or spectrum reading, for the entire year. So it's going to probably cover most of the high points and whatever the major low points are, but none of the in-betweens. Now for more specific and more specialized for those points and those things of interest, contact me at the number below and when will we go ahead and get that arranged to do a reading for that. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get the reading in for seeing what this year, 2015, holds for everyone. So, let's go ahead and get the ancestors in and welcome them. And a number of them go off the uh, reading surface this time. So anything that goes off the reading surface is not part of the reading. But what we do have on here is rather broad. Hmm. This is a very multifaceted year. So the areas that are biggest in this, especially starting with our main bones, work, home, and family. Now, the fact that the matter that the family and home bones are off here in ice, almost in isolation shows, that, and there's so little that's going on around them, that they're going to be very, what's going to be happening with them are going to be very isolated. So the uh, situations aren't going to carry over into a lot of the rest of your life as well, the work one is. But these situations also are ones that you might be finding yourself in entirely new territory. Also territory that there aren't any supports that exist for it. Because this is, like I said, new territory. So the rules, the requirements are all going to be entirely new for you. So, I mean, really, I wish I could tell you what more that it means with the family and the home bone, other than Something's going to be changing in there. Now, in fact, the family bone is straight up and down. This says that it's going to be definitely dealing with issues of high and low. So what is the high goals of the family? What is the low goals of your family? How are they rebuilding from those low goals, those low points? And how can those that are already in the high point be able to share with them and bring them forward? As for the home, we have it at a slight angle here, but it's still also, again, going from high to low. But I also sense that there's going to be a shift in there. So you may, if you are going to be looking at a new home situation or some new relationship with your home, it's going to be, in, again, in something that you've never looked at before, so in something new. I mean, you may even be looking, if let's say you lived in a house for most of your life, you may suddenly find yourself now dealing with the experience of what it means to live in an apartment building with neighbors around you. Vice versa, if you've lived your entire life in an apartment, you may find yourself now dealing with what it means to live in a standalone home. Vice versa, you may also find yourself in an entirely new living situation. I mean, for some people, the idea of going from living on the earth to living, say, in a houseboat is an entirely different experience and concerns. So there's going to be a change in the home environment in such a way that there's just no, nothing for you to be able to pull off for it. So you can expect those. Now, the area that's got most of the energy around it is the work situation. And this is where we have so many of the um, <clears throat> support bones, both the rib and spinal. And I see there with this, they are, in a way, it actually kind of forms uh, an A-shape or like a protective covering that like you would, might find if you're doing a lean-to out in the forest, out, in the, out on an adventure. There's going, there's going to be a change coming for the one for you in the work environment with such, in such a way that new avenues, an entirely new way that you have to support or even provide support for your work. So 
if your job has always been about generating the new ideas, you're going to find yourself switching from that role and moving over into how do you support those ideas to keep going. Uh, and also, how is this going, this is also going to be very strong in how you're going to generate new people, just as I generate, but support new people, so new, new trainees. Now the bigger thing uh, this also carries over, and I find it, I'm hearing them talk about, this also deals with the political system too. There are going to be massive and necessary changes that need to happen to both the political system and the legal system. In a way, they're going to go, you're going to go from having the big building back down to the small tent so that you can rebuild, or as some would say, if you're remodeling your home, in such a way you can't live in it while it's being remodeled. You have to move out to another location to be able while the house is being remodeled. In a sense, there's going to be a massive level of remodeling needing to go on in the works of our country and in the works of our country, or, or not our country, in the works of our world. And this is going to be, have an effect on political as well as legal issues. And it's a reminder, too, about how much of the purpose of the system is to work with the small person or work for the small person, not so much the big person. So moving outward from there, as we move into these other bones, one of the strong senses that I'm hearing from them is that we, especially with what's being guided by the higher forces, we with copper, is that it's time to start looking a bit at identity. What is defining an identity? In the sense that many people have allowed, and as a whole, culture-wise, have defined themselves by their work, or by what they've obtained. It's time to start taking a good look at that, and also realizing that if people want to change, and some of the changes that are going to be coming are necessary changes. It means changing that identity. For the simple fact that we know right now have a strong push for renewable energy, we have people who are defining themselves by that. And yet we also have the people who have built their entire careers around things like oil. To change their identity from what it meant to be a oil baron or an oil producer is a daunting but also frightening task for them. So to be able to support the identity shift, we need to be able to provide them with options, but also accept if they don't want to change. But also, for them, if they don't want to change, recognize that just because you don't want to change doesn't mean that other people need, that other people don't require a change. Some might say that is also accepting that they're going extinct. And that's the price that gets paid by holding on to that identity. So the identity of things and people, even states and even countries, are going to be called into question in this next year. And it's going to be time to reassess whether you want to keep that identity or change it. Because where we're going, as the world is shifting, into this, in this new millennium, in this new age that's come up. And yes, you can go and start singing Age of Aquarius now. Um, the identities that we've had for this last few centuries, they're coming to an end. And it's time for them to shift. What they shift into, you want to shift them into a, something that's positive more so than negative. But shift it must. As we move into the other elements here, <clears throat> I'm seeing social change, not just on the medical front, but as I've also said on the both political and legal front, but I'm seeing here also a shift in the, ah, the spirits are speaking, We've got strong winds going on right now, the winds of the end of the year are blowing strong. 
And there's something I've noticed in the last several years that we continue to get that as we move towards New Year's. These are the winds of everything that's being sweeped out by the calendar year, or so say in the death throes that we're now in the winter equal, uh, winter season here in the North Hemisphere. <coughs> but just as equally, death can come in the summertime as it is in the South with an extreme heat or wane. But the change is here that's coming. Uh, again, it is a social one, but it's also going to be around. In some ways, it's tied to identity, but it's tied also to information. How it's being used, how it's being recognized, how it's being evaluated. The understanding of what privacy and security is, is going to be changing. It also requires some people are going to be changing how they think about it. Some would say the recent issues with Sony and being hacked have brought about the, both the infrastructure issues of what can and should be said in emails as well as the safety and security of people that you trust with that, to have access to that. There's going to be changes around all of that. And it's going to require, again, we focus on what is the highest possible good. And not respond just from the moment of fear. <coughs> because if we respond from fear, it's going to continue to be <coughs> an unsettled system. That will result in, again, having a lot of misses, misabuses from it. <coughs> I apologize. Some of the other factors we've got going on, especially up here, this set here. Um, I'm seeing this one is much more tied to things of natural disasters and such. <coughs> as is expected, as every year, there's going to be earthquakes, there's going to be firestorms, there's going to be hurricanes and such. The thing that I see with this is that they're going to be much more close, they're going to be closer together. So something that's uh, happening, say, in Florida with a hurricane is going to be matched very closely with, say, a ice storm in Canada or a forest fire in Australia is going to be matched very closely with, say, a dust storm in the Middle East. These events are going to be much closer together because of this issue of change and the identity that shift is coming on. The world and the energy of the world is in a shift because it's needing to change out of what it was into what it needs to be for this next period of life. And as such, this disruption, this disruptive and chaotic energy that comes with a disaster naturally occurring is part of that shift because it shakes up everything that is a foundation and requires you to reapply what your foundation it shakes up your security so you reassess it <clears throat> and a strong thing that comes out of that is whether or not you continue to push yourself further apart from people or closer together so one of the strong goals with these disasters that are coming that the new world and the universe is sending forth for our change is bringing us more together into community so that we're supporting each other versus everyone out for themselves which has been a part of the identity that has been with us for the last hundred years or so so the last bit here is this one this one last support bone that's off to the side this one I sense is more in the science and technology area. I'm also going to include biomedical in that. I'm going to say that we're going to see a new breakthrough. What particular field, I can't say because I think it's in all of those, but they're going to be significant enough that it is going to help change how we not only view our, again, identity in this world, our identity of ourselves, but also of communities, but of what we can what we can generate what we can create the identity in some ways of what it means to be human the identity of what we are building for the future because there's a strong sense too that we have to focus more on long-term ideas than instantaneous what is what are the goals that we're building 
five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now, thirty years from now. Because those are all deeply connected. <clears throat> so that's about it that I wanted the ancestors are showing me for the year 2015. So tune back in this time next year and we'll see what 2016 holds for us. But the biggest takeaways I see from this for you is that you have to look at what your identity is and where it's going to be taking you. You're going to be facing things that you've never faced before. So there is no road map. There is no GPS signal to guide you through this into what you're going to be coming and what you're going to be seeing. And you're going to be creating a whole new identity in ways you've never thought of before. So with that, this is Uncle Destiny and the Ancestors, wishing you a blessed end of 2015 and a wonderful 2000, sorry, sorry, a blessed end to 2014 and a blessed new beginning to 2015. Because so begin it with the idea of what and who you are and who, you can, who your identity is in this new year.